So the very first rifle I ever owned was an AK-47. This AK-47 to be exact. Started this life as a Arsenal SGL-21 and I basically sent it to Rifle Dynamic and they put their little jazz on it and made it one of my favorite platforms that I own. Now, so whenever you talk about 762 by 39, this is what pops up in my head, the AK-47. Now, CMMG has come out with their Nemesis Mark 47, which would be this guy. The Mark 47 is, to put it short, is what happens when you have an AK-47, you mix it with a little AR-15, a lot of AR-15 actually, and some remnants of the SIG MCX series. And you get this, which is some type of bastardization of a rifle platform. And I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Um, and one of the reasons I really like it, and it should be no surprise to anyone, because I like the way it looks. So all of my sexy analogies aside, what is it really? I, I don't know. I don't. I know it has a 14.3 inch barrel with a pin and weld. I know it has a collapsible stock. I know it has uh, AK magazines that it takes. I know it's chambered in 762 by 39. Uh, I know it has a non-reciprocating side charger. And yet and still all of these things, I do not know what this is. It's almost like a mutant. <sighs> but anyway, I, I struggle with this and I, and I don't struggle with it from the standpoint that I don't like it. I struggle with it because I don't know where to place it in my brain. Like, I don't know where it sits and it sits in this weird category that exists between an AK-47 and an AR-15 and like an MCX because it has a short action system which gets rid of the buffer tube which allows you to have a folding stock the way it does, making the gun smaller and easier to kind of maneuver with. Um, but at the end of the day, it is just kind of its own thing. So the only word I keep coming back to in terms of describing what this really is, is it's like a mutant. <laughs> so how does it shoot? Before I talk to you about how the Mark 47 shoots, I wanna talk about today's sponsor, Zydax. Zydax is one of, if not the only computer companies in the industry that is willing to openly support the Second Amendment as well as channels like mine. And right now they're having their Black November sale, which means that you can get $1,000 off of a custom built PC like this one here that they built me, or $200 off of any laptop. And you can finance it at 0% for 12 months. So if you're on the market for a new gaming PC or laptop, I'm gonna put an affiliate link in the description section of this video. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. No, but seriously, this gun is noticeably smooth and noticeably fast. And I mean fast. Now, again, it's a combination of things, right? Because this particular gun, all of the internals are happening here. That's why you have this ability to fold the stock like this, because it's a short action system. So they put everything inside of the gun which causes the gun to run in an interesting way because it's not a piston system, say for instance, like the AK, which is a long stroke piston system. It's an actually DI gun, but it is smooth, just smooth. It's like, it's just gonna be a weird analogy, but if you've been watching me, you should be used to it by now. When I shoot it, I feel like I'm just, like I'm, like I can, I'm imagining a surfer on a wave, just cruising cruising back to the shore. That's how, this, that's how it feels when I'm shooting this thing. Oh man, I'm out of ammo. Hold on. And we're back. So, like I was saying, it's like a, like this, I don't know why, but the imagery in my brain, is just imagining a guy on a surfboard just calmly riding back into shore. That's how this gun feels. Which is a weird thing to say considering we're launching a 7.62x39 in a platform that looks like it should be in a Transformer movie. But that's the image. Now, this trigger, let's talk about this trigger real quick. I'm gonna bemoan this fact consistently because it just is what it is. I, I'm not a fan of single stage triggers. This is a single stage trigger. I did not really care for it 
initially. I'm not gonna say I care for it now. I just maybe like it or dislike it a lot less than I did because I can do this. It is a phenomenally great trigger when it comes to shooting fast. I gotta tell you, this, is, this trigger is fast as shit. And then on top of that, the reset is like, oh, scary short. Like watch. Shoot, now watch, listen. You have to listen to it, you ain't gonna see no movement. You hear that? Look, look at that, barely any movement. <laughs> like, this gun, the recoil impulse is so linear. It's so smooth. It's just doof, 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 doof. <sighs> Shut up, Peter. But, um, and then on top of that, the fact that this is a non-reciprocating charging handle, it makes it all the better because I can just run up against the charging handle. And you notice I don't like just shooting once. It's like, it almost forces you to do triple taps. No matter what, it just triple tap, triple tap, triple tap. Triple tap, triple tap, triple tap. Say that 10 times fast. Now, as far as how this gun feels, right? Because it's, it's, it's a difference, right? A gun can shoot a certain way and it can feel totally different, but sometimes the two come together and it's just a beautiful thing. Now, ergonomic, from an ergonomic standpoint, it feels honestly kind of normal. It feels like an AR. And I think that's a good thing because for as much love as I have for AK-47s, they're not the most ergonomic platform on the planet. Let's just be real. Stop lying to yourselves. It's just not. Now, there are companies that have come out with versions and modernized the AK uh, with, certain, with certain things to make it better ergonomically, but genuinely, genuinely, generally, generally speaking, AKs aren't really that ergonomic. This, this is incredibly ergonomic in a way that all AR-15s with an M-Lock rail system and a grip and a foldable collapsible stock that looks kind of AR-ish all come together and are essentially ergonomic. The, the pistol grip here, I don't, I don't not like it. Um, I think visually it looks good. I think it might be a little too thin for my, for my hands, which is odd considering I have small hands, small-ish hands. I'm pressing myself out of the market. Just, it, and then it gets ever so slippery every once in a while. Other than that, it's fine. Everything else on this gun, I love the fact that the gun doesn't run hot too soon, like some AKs or a lot of AKs do, um, but it just, just gripping the rail is it's, it's just a beautiful experience. Gripping the grip, great experience as far as, other than the fact that it's a little, little slim, working it, Racking, putting mags in, doing all that. It's a, it's a very, actually almost better experience than the AK. So from an ergonomic standpoint, it basically took an AK and then revamped it and removed all of the non-ergonomic elements of the, of, of the AK. It just works. And for me, I can, it makes it so much easier to just enjoy the shooting. Oh, I'm out. So that's another thing. It doesn't lock back, right? So I can lock it back, right? with the non-reciprocating charging handle, I can lock it back, but it doesn't do a bolt hold open on the last round. But other than that, from a shooting standpoint, it's balanced. It's definitely balanced, but it is, it's on the heavier side. It's a 14, 14 three inch with a pin, pin, pin brake on there. It's kind of heavy. So that kind of adds to the fact that it kind of recoils a little bit less as well, but then also for prolonged periods of time, it can get a little daunting. So the question remains, who is this for? I think off the top of my head initially, I say this gun is for the collector. And what I mean collector is somebody who has a lot of guns and is always looking for something fresh, something new. But then also, I think there's also the space where somebody who's looking for something that's not typical. Somebody who doesn't want an AR, somebody who doesn't want an AK-47, but loves the 762 by 39 round, but then also appreciates the ergonomics of an AR-15. And when you have it together here in this one platform, I could see somebody wanting to use this almost solely as their, their go-to rifle. And the reason why is because 
it, it really honestly takes all of the flaws of most of those platforms and kind of brings them together and improves upon them. And I, and I, I can't believe I'm saying that because like I love my ARs, I love my AK-47s and those things will always have a place. But this, this here, this is something different. Now, are there some changes I would like to make? Yes and no, there are changes, but not really. I think this in a shorter barrel would be phenomenal, especially in a 7.62 by 39 round. Because like I said before, I love the stock. I love the way it looks. I love the ergonomics. I mean, it runs smooth. Yes, it's on the heavier side, but by and large, at the end of the day, I, I don't see why somebody would have any reservations for making this their go-to gun. People make the AK-47 their go-to rifle all the time. It's just now you have something that's more designated in a mutant platform. So <laughs> for me, oh, I even forgot to mention, like you have the non-reciprocating charge. Like, let's, let's think about it really quickly. Like, the AK, for all, for as much as we love how the charging handle reciprocates back and forth, it's kind of annoying, right? This, non-reciprocating. Not only is it non-reciprocating, you can flip it to the other side, easily. Just lock it back, change it, and put it over to the other side. Non-reciprocating, you can run it like an AK if you really want to. Um, then on top of that, you get the benefit of running this big old 7.62 by 39 bullets, while also having all of the ergonomics of the AR. So it's like it took the AR, got rid of all the flaws from the AK and brought them together. Why wouldn't you make this a gun that is in your lineup of guns to go to if you ever needed to? I think it does a phenomenal job in that sense. Let's see here. <laughs> that thing is so smooth and so fast. <sighs> so there you have it. The CMMG Mark 47. Chamber in 762 by 39. And I just want to thank CMMG for sending this rifle out to me to do this video. Um, because I gotta say, my expectations when I kind of heard about what the platform was gonna be was kind of kind of streamlined. Uh, however, after my time with it, experiencing it, I'm not gonna lie, this is probably gonna make its way into at least the top 10 favorite guns that I love to shoot. Because when I tell you this thing is smooth. Smooth, it's so fast. <laughs> you know how frightening it is to think about what happens in the moments before, during, and even days after having to use your gun in self-defense? When you first start carrying a gun for protection, it can be a very scary and nerve-wracking experience, especially if you haven't gotten the education and training you need to feel confident. I've been there myself hoping I never have to go through a self-defense shooting, which is why I'm a member of the USCCA. As a USCCA member, you can eliminate some of the stress of carrying a gun for protection by accessing the amazing wealth of firearm education, training, and current state-specific gun laws of your state or states you may travel to. This can help you be prepared for or hopefully even avoid a self-defense incident. As a bonus, members automatically become insured on the self-defense liability insurance policy purchased by an issue to the USCCA. Click below to learn more. Guns aren't political. That's why I need your help getting this message to spread on YouTube by clicking the thumbs up button, leaving a comment to let me know what you think of the video, then subscribing to the channel. But most importantly, click that bell symbol. For products featured in this video, click the links in the description.